This bracket, this S-shaped thing's coming off for now, is it? Yeah. Take this hand round out of here. So, oh, you're taking that off of there for now. Yeah. Okay, this is riveted together. So I've already ground off the rivets. To cut that bracket off that's sticking out. Yes. Yeah. Render the wall up. Okay. And then put a plate down. One of them plates on top of here. One of these plates here. Yes. And that's going on top of this this metal beam here. Yes. Here okay. Yep. So then, what's happening up the top? Yeah. So this bracket, this S-shaped thing's coming off for now, is it? Yeah. Because hopefully this part of the building eventually will become another apartment. So that would be like a balcony area, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Stick so this Stick this out. you've got I've to take got that one out, floor. yeah. I've got to put my pad stone in there to take this. Yeah, because this the render's cracked, isn't it? Yeah. Is it just the render? Because that's been sitting on it. Yeah. And that's where the the rain was getting in wasn't it because it was all dripping towards that wall yeah okay so hopefully that will cure the damp problem on that corner take that wire out that goes up there all the way along there okay where does that go to it doesn't it's, it's, it's cut off here oh so it's redundant yeah okay take this hand round out of here so oh you're taking that off of there take for now yeah like sit straight down on here yeah. So what's happening about the handrail afterwards then? Don't know yet. Because we said we might use some of those panels, didn't we? Yeah. Um or do you just put a few extra bars in it for now? I will. Hey? I probably will and then make a staircase here. Yeah, so in place of what was the big old concrete one that came out, yeah. we've now got um some cast steps. Cast iron Victorian style steps, yeah. Yeah. So that will look nicer and it will be less weight, won't it? Yeah. Oh, you're going to put a new post in here as well, aren't you? New post in here. So this blue one here will be coming out. Yeah. And Tony's going to put one slightly further along this way. So will there be another one over there? No, just can't just... Okay, I'll leave you to it for now, Tony. Are you going to need my assistance? Pardon? Are you going to need my assistance? No, I'll be all right. Thank Hooray. You. <laughs> the sun's out it's really warm isn't it yeah. it's actually yeah. you rendered this yesterday didn't you Tony you dug it yeah. all out and re-rendered it and you made a pretty good job of that. So you're not a plasterer or no. renderer by any means, but no. we will have to start somewhere. This is lime render stuff, yeah? It is. Ah. So you different colour in sand. Yeah. I did wonder that when I looked at the first bit. That's like bit the, what we would call builder's sand in the UK. Yeah. It's always that orange colour, isn't it? Yeah. But around here it's normally this grey colour, which looks a bit like cement. Yeah, that's a case for holding off time. Oh, yes. <laughs> Persevere. Anyway, I've made you a cup of tea, so you might have to leave it for a minute. Yeah. But yeah. Made a bad job of it. Have you witted it? No. It's, uh, ah, that might be why it's not sticking so. Well, it is sticking. Oh, okay. But when I do the pointing, I'll wet it first. It sticks better. Yes. All right. Obviously, you being an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert at everything, so. Yeah. <laughs> Until someone tells me different. <laughs> anyway. So this is going to be behind 
the replacement balcony, is it not? That goes on top of this. Oh, okay. So we will actually see see some of this. We will see all yeah. of it. Yeah. Oh, oh Tony's finished that little bit up there. He's blended that in quite well. Quite impressed with that. Right, what are you doing? I've taken the area out of part. Yeah. So I've cleaned this steel up. So I've put my plate down. Once I've got my plate down, I can then put this in the right position. Okay. Make a pack stone for it up here. Extend that along. What, the other one on the other side? Yeah. 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 But first, I need to get this platform on so I can stand on it to work on this. Okay, so you've got to make yourself a platform. Yeah. Okay, this is riveted together, so I've already ground off the rivets. Okay. Now I'm going to look through this. But first, grind off the roots on there. Screws. None of this was welded together. It's all attached with screws and rivets and things. So how old does that make it? Well, pre-welding, so I don't know. Probably 1920s, 1910. I don't know. 19 what? Yeah.
I'm going to clean all this steel work up now, ready for that plate down there. Cut the plate to size, paint it, weld it on, and mash dip it on top of this concrete. Well, I've come up on the balcony to see how Tony's getting on. He said he's going to start doing a bit of welding. So 
So you've got the plate up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so what type of welding are you doing? Well, it's too, it's too blowy out here. It's too windy out here. Yeah. To use MIG. Which is what you would have. Which is what you would have, because it's quicker and you don't have to use these welding rods, you see. Okay. But unfortunately, that's got a, a argon gas surround part around it. And if you was to use it here, the gas would get blown away by the wind and the weld would get oxidised, you see. Okay, so so that's good to use, but not when it's windy. Not, it's good in the workshop. Indoors. But indoors, but not very really good. But on it's, site. It's very good if you've got a lot to do, like making balconies and things. You can make, use that in a workshop, but unfortunately here, as I say, you can't use it because it's blown away. So, so what are you actually using here then? What is this? Well, this is this is manual metal art welding. So okay. When you touch this to the end of the metal it uh, there's a gap and the gap is um, with the electricity you're passing from the end of here to the to the to the metal work yeah and that causes a um that causes this to melt and this to melt and the gas surrounds the world with this with this flux on the rod right so what we've done here is we've Put a plate down, I've put a mastic seal underneath here. There's a piece of steel under there, isn't there? No, this is just concrete here. Oh no, underneath it, I mean. Yeah, underneath it there is, yeah. Okay. So this will just stop it from capillary action between here and here. So, so you've sealed that with mastic? So I've sealed it underneath here. And then we're gonna weld this on. And in here, I'm going to um, put a 45 degree um, uh, uh, a drip? A drip, if you like, so that the water doesn't get down behind it. Yeah, what, what's that made out of? Well, this would be uh, a lime mortar. Just the same oh, I see, so, so it's a bit like when you do the roofing, you'll yeah, cement it in lime afterwards. Mortar across here. Oh, yeah. Same so the water here. runs off. So the water runs off it, yeah. yeah. okay. That's the idea. Um, right, where are you actually welding it then? Well, I'm going to weld here to here. Yeah, so that is steel along the front there. Yeah. Hang on, I don't want to get too close to the edge here, there. Here, here, and over there. Right. And then this will go in there because I cut it wrong. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you can weld it back. That's yeah. Not, yeah. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to... There's going to be steps going up there. You won't see yeah. that. And then I'm going to paint all this black jack with this black stuff. Right, that's that's just to prevent it yeah. from rusting, is it? And where I haven't welded it, I'll then put a, a mastic seal around the outside as well, just to stop the water ingress. Okay. And then I'm going to chop this out here. All right, hang on. Yeah. I'm going to bring this up level. Yeah, because it's a, a little bit wonky, that platform. A little, uh, a little concrete pad stone underneath this. We want it angled away from the building as well, don't we? Yes. Because so at the moment it's angled towards the building. Yes. So are you welding tacks? Or know. a long line? I'm not going to weld all the way along here. Right. Because that would do two things. If you did that, you'd get, because of the heat, you'd get a hell of a lot of distortion on this. Okay. And it would bend up. So I'm just going to tack weld it, if you like, an inch or so weld, inch or so weld along here. Right. And then, uh, and then paint it. Okay. Am I far enough away here not to get hurt? You still can't look at it. No, you're not far enough. Right, because I just caught a bit of that. Well, if you do, yeah. you catch catching on. My knife calculator behind it. If you do, then mine that paint as well. If you do, you'll get arc eyes and it will be very, very, it'll hurt a lot. Right, okay. It was only very briefly. 
No, you've only got to catch one flag. Oh dear. Okay. But obviously you're better outside than in. Right. You don't want to be... Uh, well, I know not to look, look normally. It's just that I just you opened my eyes at the wrong time. You can look through the camera. That's not a problem. Yeah, but I didn't. I actually caught the flash of it. You don't want to be in there. Right. Okay, okay, let's hope I don't get any archive. Yeah. I've stepped back a bit now. <laughs> So what is the distance then that I should be before you can say right? I should think probably about another five foot back from where you are. Oh, a long way back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. You're better outside here, obviously. Obviously, I just fire. normally keep avoid it, but yeah. yeah. Right. noise that you can hear is Tony's welding machine, welding plants, whatever you call it. It's a wee bit windy out here. It's going to affect the sound a little bit. So, Tony's about to weld a bracket onto this part up here. He's taken the rest of the railings down for the time being. And you've straightened out these steels, haven't you? Sorry? You've moved these steels, haven't you? Yeah, we've them, yeah. Um, okay, so he's levelled up the steels. Yeah. Are they tipping away from the building slightly way, yeah. yeah um then you're you're going to make a um a, a wooden box around that steel over there aren't you and fill that up with concrete yes. to make a um a pad stone okay so tony's about to weld the bracket that he's made he's made it out of box section because the original one was that cast it wasn't cast, it was mild steel, but it, it was so heavy and because I'm putting a box here and two boxes coming off of that, it would have looked strange. Okay, so you're not reusing the giant S-shaped no, one that was already on real. there. Okay. So what are you welding to what? Well, enough of the steel here. Yeah. To up here. And this is all steel, mild steel? Yes. And what are you welding it with? Um, same as what I did yesterday. Well, so it's a little bit breezy again, isn't it? Yeah. I expect my hose, my, my gas hose, wouldn't have mixed up, would it? Your gas hose? Yeah. Okay, so you, your gas hose wouldn't be long enough anyway, unless you took it up the top there. Yeah. All right. What's the reason for this bracket? It supports the top of that corner. So it supports that top corner because there's not going to be a pole under that one, is there? No. Oh, and it doesn't go completely to the corner either. No. Well, that's enough to hold the weight, is it? Oh, So then, so you've tacked it on, is that just to, to place it? Yeah. And then, 
what you're going to weld it all the way round? All the way round, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Now there's a big gaping hole up there, Tony. Yes, there is. Do you want to explain what's been going on up here? Okay, well that top platform. Yeah. When it was a concrete platform a little while ago. Yeah. That was that was it wasn't level. In fact, apart from running the water off the front, which you would hope here, it was running it back into that. Yeah, so the water there. was all running towards that doorway up there. So that resulted in that. So you've taken this down. I've taken that down. Which just came down with an almighty thump. Now, it has been repaired before. It's been repaired with that channel. It's been there. repaired with that steel channel. Yeah. And that's what's holding that building up. Yeah, which obviously it sits into the wall at this end on the right. And then it's connected to a more solid part of beam in the middle there. Yeah, and it's all bolted in. in. Bolted in three places, there, there and there. All right, hang on. Where, 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 where? Where's my tape measure? So, it was bolted from underneath. Yeah. I can see it's still bolted. All right, it's bolted underneath here. Yeah. Bolted. This is it, that over there, not this. This is only yeah. the walls up. But that over there is the original beam. Yeah. On the front. So, so there's a beam there. and a facing board on it. Yeah. 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 So there's two, like two beams. Hey. One bigger than the other. Yeah. Okay. So the original heavy beam is the same as um, these other ones going across. No, it's bigger than those. It's bigger, is it? Because it's holding up the wall. This is about a foot thick. Okay. About 300 by 300 mil. And obviously that's, it's holding up these walls above yeah. us. That's a big oak beam. And it was rotted away here. So they stepped this under there, put it into the wall there. I can't see, Tan, you're in the way. Put it into the wall there. Yeah. Bolted it through there to stop the beam from doing that. Now this has been mended a long time ago, hasn't it? A hell of a long time ago. And then it's carried on rotting away. You can see where it's been repaired by the size of the bolts. They're not even, they've got square-headed bolts on there. Look at, look at this bolt here, look. Well, more than one, but the size of these bolts. So that's how thick that beam is. Yeah. And they're very old because they've got a square head on, yeah. Tony said. They don't make them like that anymore, Tony. They don't make them like that anymore. No, no. okay. So, Tony's taken a couple of the bolts out in order to take this bit down and you're replacing it with some good timber, aren't you? I found a bit, I found an old sleeper in the workshop. Yeah. An old oak sleeper, which I've cut down the yeah. Of this. Okay, so now you're. What you're... I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end of the sleeper to this shape, what I've cut out here. Yeah. And I'm going to clear this bit of concrete here and put a put it back in. Put the two very long bolts back in. That will support the end of this. Yeah. And it'll go in, into the wall better. And it'll be attached to this uh, this steel channel again, yeah. One bolt through here and one bolt through here. No, it's not attached to the channel. Oh, I see. It's actually the old timber behind it. It's helping. It's helping here because you, you're coming along here with this. It's gone through here. Yeah. Which is through the, uh, which is just above this channel. Yeah. And here. So okay. It's it, if you like. But that's all that's doing. So you're going to re sandwich it? Yeah. With the new piece of timber? Re piece of timber. Bolt through here. But the steel is actually doing the work of what used to, the, what the beam used to do. Yes. So the steel is still where it needs to be yeah. and still supporting that. And once I've got that in... So what about the piece of wood above that, the rotten piece inside that? Here? Here? Yeah. Well, that can just stay there. Okay. That's the old timber. That's why they put this in. Okay. So is that not holding the floor up inside there? Yeah, and that, what's on. holding that piece of concrete but, up there? Look, you've still got that there, it's yeah. going over, it's got about 12 inches that way, so it's, it's off the top. Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, right. And when I put my timber in here, that was supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to make it, it's going to strengthen it all up again, isn't it? Yeah. And once I've done that, I'll then put timber around here, temporary timber here. Fill it up with concrete to support this. Yeah. And this, I will then attach another bit of oak on the end of this 
to make a gap piece yeah. so I can screw right through to my new timber. Oh, okay. And there you are. It's Tony putting his arm right in the wall there. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to measure how far that steel goes? Yeah. How far does that go into that wall? Oh, you haven't even got to the end of it yet? I haven't got to the end of it yet. Wow, so, so it's pretty least, deep in there then. At least 400 mil. At least 400 mil yeah. into that wall. Yeah, and I can't even get to that. You can't even get to the I end. Can't, I can't even feel the end of it, so that, that's quite fine. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good, that's well, nice to know. These walls are about 400 mil thick. Yeah, so it's, it probably goes in as far as they could put it. Yeah. That's very good. Brilliant. I'm very pleased with it. Yeah. Good. Oh, it turns out a busy day. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks so much better. Oh, yeah. Well, it's tidied that right up, hasn't it? Oh, yes. And obviously secured it as well with the big oh, bolts yeah. back through. So, you're going to do some cementing tomorrow, are you? Yeah. Put the, uh, it's just starting to get dark here. Put a bit of timber up underneath that timber on the wall. Yeah. And one piece this side and then fill it to in. To make like a little box that you yeah. fill up with cement, yeah? Fill it, fill it up like with, shuttering. Uh, so two and one. Okay. Same as cement. Real That's strong. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks so much different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like a really new piece of timber, but it's not, is it? No, it's, it's an it's old piece that you found in the in the workshop and it's really oh, hard. Oh man, that was so oak. Hard. It looks new where you've cut it with the chainsaw, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it does look very smart, Tone. Well yeah. done. From that. You've worked hard today. Yeah, yeah, from that. So that nice new piece. Yeah, we like that.